In this video, we're gonna look at the new Sin Racing Rally car. I've had this car for several months now, so I've been able to take it through its pace. I took it to the there skate park, and then I also took it off-road as well, and then I took it to a couple places where I was able to actually jump the vehicle and stuff. So I'm gonna give you guys some of my final thoughts on this vehicle in this video, and let you guys know if there's some improvements that need to be done, if it's actually worth your money. All right, guys, it's going to be some of my thoughts on this rally car from Sense. I'm trying not to make this a long video at all because basically people want to know if, if you like it and if it's actually worth it. Now, in my opinion, this is the best looking rally car out there. Its competition is going to be HPI when mainly the HPI uh, WRX, I think that is their rally car for it. But this is going to be a little bit cheaper. It's about 40 to maybe 50 bucks cheaper than that vehicle. And then, of course, you got the um, Traxxas rally and they just released the VXL version of it that's out there as well. But that looks kind of more toyish if you compare it to the looks of this particular vehicle. So I think that look-wise, this is the best looking one out there um, for performance-wise. It actually performs pretty good. On 3S, it does get a little um, wobbly because of the suspension and stuff, but you can make adjustments to the suspension so where you won't have a lot of body lean and body roll and stuff in there. So you want to tighten the suspension if you're going to run 3S stock out the box. And then, of course, people have run 4S on there and stuff, which is kind of funny uh, for us. So the only thing that I've done to here was I actually changed out the radio. The radio was kind of basic, and it just kind of gave a basic feel, but that's the only thing that I would change about this. Now, there was one other issue when we first started getting these and running these that Sin has actually corrected, and that is the rear of this. Uh, the first time we were running our vehicles, the body was actually getting caught in this rear tire and wheel. And it was eating That's these pretty beautiful bodies up. So Sin has actually corrected this. And if you buy one now, you'll actually get this upgraded part. It takes you about two to five minutes to put this in. And this actually keeps the body as you're running the vehicle. Try to show this from actually this rear wheel well from getting caught in that tire. Because that's actually keeping that pushed out. So that was one of the major things that a lot of people saw when we were first running this. And we did kind of get the first demo model. Um, just to know if there's any issues or anything with it. So they're now including that in there with it. And the only part that I've broken on here was well, two parts, actually. Um, one part was here without the skate park. I was jumping and I kept landing on the roof, I think maybe once or twice. And this is not really made for going to the go. skate park, but I did break this here. You guys see kind of how this is kind of somewhat wow. flexes a little bit. Now, it's not meant to take out and do a lot of jumping and stuff with it, but I want to test the durability for you guys. Uh, with this as well and then there was one other thing i was racing against a friend and uh we ran into each other and i broke a piece of the steering in here uh that was plastic so i ended up replacing that with another plastic one but they actually have updates and stuff for this vehicle that's actually available on their website so you can put aluminum steering and stuff up in here and do a couple of other minor updates to it and i do recommend you use the chassis shroud or something to cover the inside of the chassis as you're running it because if you're running in a lot of rocks and stuff a lot of that stuff does get caught in the chassis and that can periodically get caught down here in the steering and you're going to find yourself driving and not being able to turn left or right or maybe both it just depends on how large the rock is and if it gets stuck in there uh with that everything else has been fine the tire compound is actually really good didn't experience like any ballooning when I ran it on 3S or anything and didn't have really any more problems other than just adjusting the suspension a little bit to be able to run 3S on here and not have, you know, the body rolling and flipping and stuff. But like I said, I did take it off road and I did jump it a lot off road. It's when I went to the skate park and started jumping it on hard concrete that I messed kind of tore the other body up and I had to get an aftermarket body post and I actually drilled holes in the other body to actually fit that on there. But by that time, the rear of it was already tore up and I had took the car through its paces. So this is a brand new, nice, pretty body on here. And this thing looks good. I mean, they make good cars. You guys know they have the dualies and stuff out. So this is something if you wanted to, you can add to your collection to have some beautiful cars out there on your shelf and stuff. So anyway, like I said, I'm not going to make this long. I think the vehicle is actually good. I think you do need to uh, just do the minor upgrade on the radio. And you're fine with the stock radio. I just think that um, you're gonna want to you're gonna want a better radio. It's gonna give you a longer range and stuff as time progresses on, especially if you start trying to go 3s and go away and out in the field and stuff. But that was the only issue that I had was just the radio went on. So I'm pretty sure at some point in time they'll make an update on their radio for it. So anyway, put your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll probably get this out as soon again and change the body out because I don't want to mess these bodies up. It 
this body looks good and get this running again so if you got one put down in the comments what you've done to it if you found any other weak spots or points that i didn't point out like the rear body mount or the steering in the front and then let us know and then i'll try to pin those comments so that people can see it as well but other than that this has been a good car so i'll leave a link below in the description if you guys are interested in checking it out or actually purchasing one and as always don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for the next video appreciate you guys watching